When we filmed our Sea Kayak Essential Safety and Rescue video, we included tow line rescues in lots of real world situations. This short video supports those chapters with some decision making answers to common tow line problems. These are just ideas and options. The best thing we can do is get out and experiment to find our own reliable solutions. I often carry the towing equipment shown here in my Sea Kayak coaching and guiding work. It includes a main tow line of either 10 or 15 meters an additional 15 meter throw line, contact tow and a long sling. We explore the use of contact toes and slings in our Sea Kayak Essentials Safety and Rescue video. Here we'll focus on decision making with a main tow line. I need my tow line to be easily accessible, simple to use, reliable and quick to pack away. I use a waist tow line for my coaching work as I typically need to tow one or two lightly loaded kayaks a short distance out of an area of rough water. The waist tow line is quickly accessible and meets my needs. I make a decision between a 10 or a 15 meter line according to the conditions and situations I am likely to face. Both lengths are okay, but the rougher and windier the conditions, the more likely I am to use a 15 meter line to create more distance between me and towed boats. This gives me more maneuverability and safety in many rescue situations. I often use a short climbing quick draw to connect the line and the carabiner as I find the stronger material easier to handle with cold hands. I prefer a carabiner with a clean opening and large enough to avoid snagging on deck lines. I tend to avoid plastic clips and small or heavy steel sailing type clips. Many people chain link their tow lines to create an adjustable length system. That's fine but it can be difficult to adjust the length when it really matters. If you choose this approach, make sure your system is reliable in all situations. A chain linked rope can snag more easily on kayak parts, and a fully chain linked 15 meters reduces to only 5 meters, an unhelpful length in many rescues. An adjustable system will permit you to choose your preferred length. Again, remember that this system is more complex and prone to failure than a simple length of tow line. It's a good idea to practice packing the tow line to make sure that you can do this easily while afloat. Here I make a series of lap coils doubled and stuffed into the bag with the carabiner clipped in an accessible position. I avoid circular coils as these are more prone to tangling. If time is short when clipping two kayaks, I often use a simple fast method, passing the carabiner under one deck line and clipping to another deck line on the second kayak. I don't worry about which kayak I clip first or use a special releasable system. I simply clip the kayaks as shown and improve the situation by towing the rafted kayaks to a better, safer location. Once I've created more space and time, I can modify the setup if necessary. I also sometimes clip a set of deck lines closer to the kayak cockpits for easier releasability. Rescuers frequently struggle with the tow line snagging inside the bag, making it difficult to maneuver and to get away from the rafted kayaks. To avoid this problem, I often open the tow line bag and dump the rope into the water next to my kayak. Sometimes rescuers choose to halve the length of their tow line by doubling the rope back to their waist belt. If doing this, passing the rope directly around the deck line increases friction and makes the rope more likely to tangle. If I add an extra carabiner into the system, I can reduce the friction and eliminate the problem. I also retain some releasability for the towed paddlers. I carry a 15 meter throw line for various reasons. If we have to do any rocky landings, it's very useful to have both a tow line and a throw line for different tasks. I can also use the throw line to extend the length of my main tow line for towing downwind in bigger conditions. Our Sea Kayak Essentials Safety and Rescue video explores these options in much greater detail. If using a throw line, it's great to be able to pack the line away quickly. Here I'm using a carabiner on my PFD shoulder to simplify the task. So that's it, a few tips on tow line decision making. I try to keep my solutions as simple as possible, to be really familiar with my kit and to regularly practice my skills. If you like these short decision making videos, you can buy our Sea Kayak Essentials DVDs and downloads at our website, or access all our coaching resources with Essential Membership for only £3 a month. Follow the link for more information.